foot problems like bunions, bunionettes, hammer toes, overlapping toes can be unsightly and of course painful. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my honest physical therapist opinion of yoga toes. There's so many other conditions that yoga toes can be helpful for, including outer foot pain. Even some ankle problems can benefit from this toe device. Now my friend here has them and there's two versions that, that we have here. We have the original yoga toes that are on, on this foot and then we have the gems yoga toes on this foot over here. Now let me tell you about the features of yoga toes. They're made out of this nice flexible gel and uh, these right here are closed in of course so you have you know holes that that you can't get out of your toes are trapped in there whereas these are open on one end and they're a little easier to get on and to use but there's different reasons why you might get these versus these i'll tell you more in just a moment generally these are advertised as being for women because they have a gem shape it looks like jewelry on the top um, but you know, male or female, I, I, if you're just looking at improving your foot health, I don't think you should be concerned about the way they look. You're probably not going to be walking around in public with these on anyway, so nobody will see you if you're a man and you're concerned about wearing gems on your feet. Um, but these are a little bit more advanced and in, in spreading out your toes. That's how they're advertised and marketed. But I'm going to talk to you about some other ways to use them that can help you correct your toe alignment and some serious foot problems that maybe you can even avoid surgery for. Now let me tell you some pros of these. The soft gel is BPA free. They come in pairs. So my friend here is wearing the other one of each of these. And the these, the original yoga toes, they can be used on either side of the foot. You can just turn it over and it, it adapts to your left or right foot. Versus the gems, they are for a specific side. So this one is for the right foot. My friend's got the left side on. You can just flip it over. It's not gonna work the same way because it's curved for the shape of your foot. And, and these are smaller for your smaller toes. And these are also latex free in case you have any allergies to latex. And I have had patients tell me that while they're using these for their healthcare purposes are also giving themselves a pedicure and doing their nails. So it works very, very appropriately for that purpose too. Now, as far as cons go, they're really, for what we're going to use this for, there really aren't many cons. You don't want to walk with these. That's the only thing that I would say is um, toe separators like these. Uh, they do sell some that are just for one toe. You would just put it between your big toe and your second toe or a, another couple of toes and you can wear that inside your shoe, but these are not built for that. So I would not try to walk around with these things. It's just going to be uncomfortable. It's going to make your walking change completely, not the way you should normally walk. Another con might be that, you know, if they made a male version of the gems, the ones that are open on top, I think that would be beneficial for some men that are a little self-conscious about using these, but I don't think it's a, a deal breaker at all. I think this will work just fine for men. This is an easier version to get into using the yoga toes. Now let's talk about how to use yoga toes. So the basic idea here is you're going to fit each of your toes and it takes a little bit of work. Uh, and getting all your toes to fit right into all the spaces here. Now with the original yoga toes, it's a little bit harder. With these, it's a little easier because you can kind of just wedge these between your toes just fine. But once you have them on, let's see what it looks like. Now the basic way to use these is to just put them on. That's what the, what the manufacturer tells you to do is put them on and go read a book, kick your feet up, watch television. And the idea that they're trying to promote is that you push your toes apart and it's getting the alignment of all your toes improved it's, it's putting them apart rather than overlapping each other all bunched up together so that you can get relief in all the joints in your feet now what i promote what i tell my patients to do with these is to do exercises while you have them on because i think it is beneficial to have something spread your toes apart but i think it's even more beneficial it's a step further if you work out your muscles in this position by curling your toes and by extending your toes because now you're teaching your muscles to work in a way where your toes are aligned properly. So if you have muscle imbalances that are kind of pulling your toes over each other or making one toe move different than the rest of them, this helps train your toe muscles to move your toes appropriately. So I tell my patients that have foot problems, a variety of different foot problems, to get yoga toes, and I'll tell them to start with the, the gems version because they're just easier, they're on the feet, they're, they're not as intense, versus these are gonna be, they're gonna compress your toes a bit more, they're gonna spread them apart slightly more as well, um, but this would be the advanced version. And work on curling your toes up and down at first, then once you get comfortable with that, work on curling your toes all the way down and holding it as hard as possible for 10 seconds, a good 10 seconds is, is adequate to get the muscle stronger. 
and then relax, of course, and then you're going to repeat that for a certain amount of time, depending on the foot condition that you have and how much strength you have to gain. Now, let me give you my honest opinion about yoga toes. I think these are fantastic. I've been recommending them to patients for a couple of years now, since one of my patients first told me about them. And she told me that she was using these. She brought these in and they were actually a different color than these. Um, and she absolutely loved them. And, and when I saw how she was using them, that's when I figured out, oh, do the exercise that I already had you doing in this because it's training you to move your muscles in the right pattern rather than continuing to force your, your muscles to move in the wrong way if your joints are not moving appropriately. So this improves the alignment tremendously. Now, if you have a history of wearing boots or heels, especially high heels, and you're wearing shoes that kind of shove your toes to the front of the, of the shoe and bunch them together, this is especially good to make sure that you're preventing the, your toes from maintaining that posture as you age. You wanna make sure that your toes can spread out because that's how we're designed to walk. We're designed to have toes that can spread out and grab the ground as if you were walking barefoot out on, on open land you should be able to grab the ground on uneven terrain and keep your balance. But if your toes are all bunched up together, then you don't have as good balance because they, they can't grip effectively the way they're designed to. So this promotes more natural alignment of your toes so that you can improve your balance for the long term, as well as make your toes look a little bit nicer if you're worried about the way they look. Hey, if you thought this video was helpful for you, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that we upload every week. This channel is focused on making videos with helpful tips, advice, exercises, and stretches for a variety of conditions. If you're interested in learning more, go check out a link to get to our playlist down in the description, as well as a link to purchase your own yoga toes from Amazon. That's down in the description too. I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.